video welcome back thanks for clicking so we're going to be checking out the shocking quran recitation in front of non-muslims and how they reacted to them listening to the quran for the first time let's check it out and here we are at a beaver concert and you can see they're already lining up the concert doesn't get started for another couple of hours and these people will line up for hours to hear these men and uh, it's amazing because uh, most Christians wouldn't even sit outside of a church for 10 minutes if the door were locked and to think some of you actually say this guy's an actual Christian he's a Christian like I'm a black lesbian yeah where are you gonna go when you die where are you going to go when you die? Fine, have it your way. So when God puts you into hell, don't scream and cry. Justin Bieber is collaborating with people like Nicki Minaj. Yes. Yes, he hangs out with drug addicts. We are gonna we have some very special guests tonight. Um, this has happened very quickly, and um, we didn't have them on the program because we didn't know they were coming. We have some local um, people from the mosque and from Royal. <laughs> Now, I know the reason why a lot of non-Muslims 
would rather go to the mosque to listen to the recitation. You know, just listen to what the man said in the beginning. That Christian man said, see how a lot of people were lining up. The mosque was actually closed. They've locked the mosque. It's not open yet. And people are waiting outside, lining up. Non-Muslims, for that matter, including Christians, you know, other religions were all there. Then this Christian man said, in church, you, you at least see, you know, Christians waiting in front of the church. If the church was closed, when some Christians says that, oh, this church is closed, they will just leave. No, they will not they, they will not even bother to wait or to get to know what's going on. But these people were lining up. They were on queue for hours for the mosque to be open. And he asked a person question. This life you're living, where do you think you're going to? And somebody said, Oh, and he was like, Oh, but that was that was a savage, you know, response. I didn't like when the man actually spoke to that lady. You don't judge anybody, you don't know what people are going through. You have to preach love. As a Christian, no matter what, preach love. I know the man was angry, but what he should have done is to talk nicely to that lady. Maybe after talking nicely to the lady and talking about Jesus Christ, preaching the gospel of Jesus, you know, telling her about Christianity more, it will calm her down. It might change her life. A lot of people are going through, people are going through a lot. For them to live worldly life, for them to live a life that is not pleasing to God, it's not that some people will want that kind of life but because of the situation they find, they find themselves but if, if you can put smile in people as long as that Christian man was able to put a smile on her face or say some nice words the lady might have been much more serious with Christianity so he said the right thing at the same time that word is said to the woman he used it against himself because what were you preaching indirectly you were pushing the woman away from the the religion to, um, to another religion like Islam. That was really bad. I, I was just really, 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 you know, surprised and I was impressed at the same time with the rate at which people go to the mosque to listen to the recitation. It calms your soul. It makes you think about the goodness of God. It makes you draw closer to God. It makes you understand the power of God, the you know, assistance of God, the supremacy of God. It makes you understand a lot of things. and. At some point, I was so attached to the old recitation because I was reading everything it was reciting, and it calms you down. Why won't people go to a place where you find peace? Because recitation brings peace. Where you find peace, you find love. You know where people are devoted. They will want to go. Other religions need to do better. They need to do better. Just imagine if non-Muslim can kill outside just to enter the mosque what happens to other religion so guys let me know your thoughts in the comment box let's keep this discussion going thank you so much for watching thank you so much for watching don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more like share comment i'll see you in the next one